of town Colored glossy photographs With circles and arrows And a paragraph on the back Of each one Explaining what each one was To be used as evidence against us Took pictures of the approach The getaway The northwest corner And southwest corner And that's not to mention The aerial photography After the ordeal We went back to the jail Obi said he was gonna put us in the cell Said, kid, I'm gonna put you in the cell I want your wallet and your belt And I said, Obi, I can understand You want my wallet So I don't have any money to spend in the cell But what do you want my belt for? And it said, kid We don't want any hangings Said, Obi, did you think I was gonna hang myself for littering? Obi said he was making sure, and friends Obi was, cause he took out the toilet seat so I couldn't hit myself over the head and drown. And he took out the toilet paper so I couldn't bend the bars, roll out the roll the toilet paper out the window, slide down the roll and have an escape. Obi was making sure, and it was about four or five hours later that Alice, remember Alice? It's a song about Alice. Alice came by and with a few nasty words to Obi on the side, bailed us out of jail. We went back to the church, had another Thanksgiving dinner that couldn't be beat and didn't get up until the next morning when we all had to go to court. We walked in, sat down. Obi came in with a 27 8 by 10 colored glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and a paragraph on the back each one. Sat down. Man came in, said, all rise. We all stood up, and Obi stood up with the 27, 8 by 10 colored glossy pictures. And the judge walked in, sat down with the C&I dog, and he sat down. We sat down. Obi looked at the C&I dog. And then the 27, 8 by 10 colored glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and a paragraph on the back of each one, and looked at the C&I dog. And then the 27, 8 by 10 colored glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and a paragraph on the back of each one and began to cry because Obi came to the realization that it was a typical case of American blind justice and there wasn't nothing he could do about it. And the judge wasn't going to look at the 27, 8 by 10 colored glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and a paragraph on the back of each one explaining what each one was to be used as evidence against us. And we was fined fifty dollars and had to pick up the garbage in the snow, but that's not what I came to tell you about. Came to talk about the draft. We got a building down in New York City, it's called Whitehall Street, where you walk in and you get injected, inspected, detected, infected, neglected, and selected. I went down to get my physical examination one day and I walked in and sat down. Got good and drunk the night before, so I looked and felt my best when I went in that morning. Cause I wanted to look like the all-American kid from New York City. I mean I wanted, I wanted to feel like the I wanted to be the all-American kid from New York. And I walked in, sat down, I was hung down, brung down, hung up and all kinds of mean, nasty, ugly things. And I walked in, I sat down, they gave me a piece of paper, said, kid, see the psychiatrist, room 604. And I went up there, I said, shrink, I want to kill. <laughs> and I want, I want to kill. Kill. I want, I want to see, I want to see blood and gore and guts and veins in my teeth. Eat dead, burnt bodies. I mean, kill. Kill. Kill! Kill! And I started jumping up and down, yelling, kill! Kill! And they started jumping up and down with me, and we was both jumping up and down, yelling, kill! Kill! And the sergeant came over, pinned the metal on the set me down the hall, said, you're our boy. And you feel too good about it. Proceeded on down the hall, getting more injections, inspections, detections, neglections, and all kinds of stuff that they was doing to me at the thing there. And I was there for two hours, three hours, four hours. I was there for a long time, going through all kinds of mean, nasty, ugly things, and I was just having a tough time there. And they was inspecting, injecting every single part of me, and they wasn't leaving no part untouched. Proceeded through, and I was when finally came to see the very last man I walked in, walked in, sat down after a whole big thing there And I walked up and said, what do you want? He said, kid, we only got one question 
Have you ever been arrested? And I proceeded to tell him the story of Alice's Restaurant, Massacre, with full orchestration and five-part harmony and stuff like that. And then all the phenomena stopped me right there and said, Kid, did you ever go to court? And I proceeded to tell him the story of the 27 8 by 10 colored glossy pictures with the circles and arrows and a paragraph on the back of each one that stopped me right there and said, Kid... I want you to go over and sit down on that bench that says Group W. Now, kid! And I, I walked over to, to the bench there, and there's, there's Group W is where, where they put you. If you may not be moral enough to, to join the army, after committing your special crime and